What the integrator does is it really provides a translation process between real-time streams of information into rows and columns of nicely aligned, normalized data that works well for, for BI tools. So we have several customers who need to get operations data across a variety of different business systems. And what integrators do is make it easy for you to present the data to any number of those external systems seamlessly. It bridges that ITOT gap all from a single launching point. And most of the time people spend in these projects is on the data gathering and preparation steps. We're able to reduce the amount of time that these people have to spend learning about how to model information, learning about how to put things together in order to get value out of machine learning and analytical tools. Integrating that data in order to get insights into individual plant performance or comparing processes across different plants or understanding production numbers from continent to continent, how feedstocks differ, all those types of things. People expect that to be a big challenge because, well, this is what I did when I had to integrate the financial data or the supply chain data. It was a lot of work. With a modern Pi system, you can use common templates, you can use uh, common structures, and so when they put the integrator on top of that framework, you can grab data from your entire global organization, normalize it, fit it together, and create slice and dice reports in less than half an hour. And so when we show that to customers, they are, they are just floored. It turns out that those data sets that you can use for BI are also useful for sending lots of data into machine learning models for training and analysis and finding even new insights into the data. ADM is, is really neat. So one of the things they notice is they have these decanter units that were failing uh, consistently under six months. So they used the, the Pi Integrator for Business Analytics to lift a lot of decanter information up into Azure for analytics. They utilize the event frames capability of the Pi system to uh, find relevant sections of information to then lift up into their machine learning models. Then they were able to start separating out variables that they saw were uh, key factors in the failure of these pieces of equipment. And so what they were able to determine is there's about an ideal range for sugar concentration in the feedstock. There are at least 40 of these per production location. So the the savings is, is significant if they save $50,000 every time they have to rebuild one.